Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Elden Ring video. So, in this video, I'd like to share with you a location where you can get uh, the Parry Ash Noir. This one right here. Uh, you can actually buy it, and there's um, a few other skills that you can take a look, which I'm going to show you once we get to the point. Uh, this is also like you can you can do this at the very start of the game because that's this is located at the start location. So let's not waste some time and jump right into it. Alright, so for this one you will need the, the mount, so if you haven't gotten it, I'll quickly show you how you can do it. So, this is the location where you popped out from the very first step, then you end up uh, going to the Church of Ellen. Once you get to Church of Ellen, uh, find uh, this uh, gate front, once you find, uh, you know, that sort of uh, campfire or grace, grace that's what it's called. Uh, you speak with it, Melina appears, you speak with Melina, you get yourself a mount. Then you can do it neither from this location, neither from this location, whichever. But you will need to go all the way up here, which is called uh, War Master Shack. Now I'm not going to fast travel over there, because uh, I want to show you the route on how you can get there real fast. Uh, because you won't be able to uh, fast travel there, right? By the way, if you do not know that you can get the map over here as well to open the entire map over here in case if you haven't opened the map. And once you're done, you can simply just put the checkpoint onto this building right here and uh, start your journey, right? So for now, I'll remove this uh, thing right here, call up the horse, just in case show you that uh, stone where which unlocked the map for me. So in my case, bypass these dudes and you come up right over here and that will unlock the map so once you have unlocked the map then you open it and uh, use the things that I've shown right afterwards you navigate uh, this way oh by the way you see these calls over here the one the glowing ones you can get golden runes from them and that's like 200 souls per uh, skull that you find so if you are going to be careful and on the lookout, it will be easier for you to find. So then, by the way, if you were wondering where the hell did I get this armor and the helmet, by killing these dudes right here. And on this location, you can find a pretty decent amount of these things uh, that you can loot and sell for profit. It's like 10 souls per, but there's a whole bunch of them, so why not pick it up, right? Then you come up to this sort of uh, wind thing, and you do the jump. When you're mounted, it will not work uh, if you're not mounted. So you will need to be on your mount. Otherwise, if you jump, it will not work. And now that we still have our beacon, uh, you just pretty much follow the road. The most important was uh, to get through that uh, uh, wind jumping thing. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, man. And by the way, if I I do apologize. I do mispronounce stuff sometimes. I am from Ukraine, so uh, have that in mind. And once you get here, that's the location. You will find yourself the Grace, which is right here. Uh, open the map, then afterwards you will be able to fast travel, then you walk up to this dude right here, and you speak with him. So once you speak uh, with him, hello. you go to learn skills, and uh, there you go, he got the parry. And it's usable on daggers, curved swords, thrusting swords, uh, fists, claws, and small and medium shields. So do uh, do read through on, uh, you know, with what H ev and everything works. And then you got uh, other sort of skills over here, uh, Stormblade, Quick Step, uh, Impaling Thrust, uh, Upcrot, I believe, Kick, oh I wonder, does this work on the uh, shields? Anyway, the reason why I went with Parry, I was playing wow. Dark Souls 3 for some time, uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, whenever you would do Parry, right, it would actually use up that mana thing, or How's it called? I call it mana. Uh, close the FP. There you go. So it uses FP, but in uh, in Elder Ring it does not. As you can see, it does not use any uh, FP, right? Now, I am aiming for a pure build, no magic whatsoever. So uh, I think this is going to be a good addition to me. I mean, besides, I love I love timing and everything. So I still need to get used to like uh, the pairing, but. I've had some practice a little bit today and uh, that is cool because first of all uh, with pairing you will be able to get those horsemen uh, off the horse and do a critical attack which deals a decent amount of damage so I'm gonna try not to accumulate myself right now and try to make it work in one punch so 
the good thing, the needed thing is perfect timing. And no, I failed. Dang it. Oh, what the? Lol. Ah, good job, Z. Time to humiliate yourself, man. No, 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 no. Why am I using? I forgot how to get myself on this horse. There you go. Boom. You parry the guy. And crit it. Boom. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit, there you go, you smash him, right? So a little bit of timing, uh, it took it took a lot of deaths for me to uh, deal with those dudes. Uh, but parry is really nice. <laughs> also allows you to do the critical strikes, so it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm perf myself, I'm enjoying it. I'll see how it's going to go a little bit later on, maybe uh, in some, some future, because there's war going on right now. Uh, I don't know when I have time to record, so I record when I can, and um, maybe I'll do a little bit more of a, um, a pairing, parry more detailed parry guide, right? Because actually pretty cool. Like, boom. Yeah, you parry him, and boom. Easy. And actually, I mean, I'm really enjoying this parry thing. It's actually making those cool cool stuff I mean yeah, it's like boom <laughs> anyway but that's just me man I know the magic in, in Elden Ring is is OP a, a lot of people love it like I played uh, Dark Souls not a lot I'm, I wasn't a big fan of these type of games but I fell in love with it to be honest and uh, but, but I still like you know doing uh, the melee 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 style, no magic, you know? <laughs> and a dagger style. Look at that. Toothpick. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. If you want to join our Discord to talk about this game or any other games that we play here, uh, feel free to join our Discord. The link is down in the video description. Also, uh, if you're open to charity, I do have a link to support Ukrainian Army because we do require support it will lead you all the way to the end uh, the official fund and over there if you feel like uh, doing any donations to the Ukrainian army feel free to do so I'm still fi trying to find some uh, humanitarian uh, options like you know for supplies meds and stuff like that not just uh, the army once I find something uh, which is legit I will start sharing that as well uh, but once again thanks all for watching hope you enjoyed the show Z signing out all the way from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.